Okay, so um, one of you brought up an interesting question about the money they receive. And yeah, they probably receive the kind of money that's in their country, or the money that I bet their culture uses. All right, good question. Um, and that might be the same as the money you use, or it might be different. It might be different. North Africa and the Middle East. Okay, so that's in the Africa area, and then it starts to go over into the green area that you are sitting on. Yep, right up into there. This says Egypt. So in Egypt, I wrap my tooth in some cotton or a tissue and take it outside. I say, shining sun, shining sun, take this buffalo's tooth and bring me a bride's tooth. Then I throw the tooth high up at the eye of the sun. The Arabic, the Arabic word for bride is arusa, which also means candy or sweet. Okay, so he goes out and throws his tooth at the sun. And then here's a sun one here, Libya. I throw my tooth at the sun and say, bring me a new tooth. My father tells me that I have a bright smile because my teeth come from the sun. That's kind of neat. And Morocco. I put my tooth under my pillow when I go to bed. The next morning I must rise with the sun and throw my tooth toward the sun while I say, I give you a donkey's tooth and ask that you replace it with a gazelle's tooth. Otherwise, I might get donkey teeth. All right, that's what they believe. And Mauritania. My parents tell me to wrap my tooth in a small piece of cloth and throw it as hard as I can onto the roof of my house. If I get up very early the next morning, I will find a rooster on the roof, and I can keep him. If I don't awake early enough, I won't find the rooster. Well, that's kind of neat. Lebanon. I throw my tooth into the sea or a field and say, Oh, son, oh, son, take the mouse's tooth and give me a gold tooth. Yeah. In Oman. I face the sun and throw my tooth as far as I can while I say, Oh, mighty sun, take this tooth, play with it, and do not forget to bring it back. I like how um, the, uh, G. Brian Karras has drawn arms on the sun to make it look like he's going to play. That's really cute. Now we've got Turkey, if my, in the country called Turkey. If my parents want me to grow up to graduate from school, they might bury my tooth in the garden of a university. Um, if they hope I will become a doctor, they bury it in the garden of a hospital. Or they could bury it in a soccer field, so I will be a good soccer player. So they kind of have a wish for the child, and then they bury the tooth where they think that child will be successful, at a school or in a soccer field. It's kind of neat. Then Europe. So Europe is the yellow one, the yellow continent on our rug. Okay, and yes, I know we've got at least one of you who's been there before and shared a little bit of experience with us. And Europe also has many countries, so Europe is not a country either. Europe is made up of different countries, and inside those countries are different cultures, some of them. All right, some of them may be similar, but some of them are different, very different. So in Greece, in Greece, I throw my tooth on the roof for good luck and make a wish so that my teeth will grow strong and healthy. And then in Denmark, I put my tooth under my pillow at night and wait for the tooth fairy called Tan Fien to take my tooth and leave me some money. That sounds familiar. Well, I don't know about the name, but um, but maybe tooth fairy in Denmark, in um, in the language they speak in Denmark, is called Tan Fien. In that language, it could be. Okay, um, Dutch. They speak Dutch in Denmark. Think about that. England. Go ahead and stop for a minute. 